hard to get involved in politics. It's hard to figure out where to go, which, um, who to follow. A lot of issues were all brought on Obama all at once. And there's a lot of issues that all happened at the same time, and it's hard to pay attention to each one individually. But right now, I'm really concerned about the economy. A lot of people are being laid off. And a lot of them are going to foreclosure. I think that's really one of the big issues right now that we're dealing with in America. The American, American dream seems to be fading. It's kind of scary to think about and figure out what's going on. It's interesting that you said that about the American dream being lost. I wonder if that's just part of America changing or if that is strictly political. I wonder if it's time for America to change. I don't want it to, but it's just, it's just an opinion. Yeah, your opinion makes sense. We're all going through changes. It's a shame to see, though. Yeah, you're right. There are a lot of people in Congress getting reelected over and over again. And it's kind of hard to find that balance between supporting Obama and supporting the Americans. And Congress can't really please both, both Obama and the rest of the citizens. Yeah, I agree. And I think it's also our fault for voting for the same, same congressman every election and not really getting involved. But then that goes back to uh, not being able to find factual information. Yeah, because of the media. They always with people's words and exaggerate what they're saying. Absolutely. I was watching CNN. And people really uh, change up the language a lot and make it kind of confusing to uh, understand what exactly they're trying to say. It doesn't always make sense. They use big words to make everything sound really nice. But it's really, when you're trying to re look at it, it's hard to understand. Same with the newspaper. People are making comments, and it's hard to understand or hard to decide what to believe. Yeah. It's, and it's frustrating, too, because last election um, was my first time I could vote, and I was, I was excited, mm -hmm. and then, you know, the time came around where it was time to vote. I'm like, you know, I don't even know where to go to find information. Like. Everyone says one thing, but then there's stuff that contradicts something else, and there's nothing consistent. Right, I agree. People who run for election promise a bunch of different things so that they can win the election, but then once they're elected, they break all their promises. That's horrible in my opinion. Yeah, they don't always see the truth. It's a shame there's no way to keep them 
accountable for what they've promised. Yeah, it's not always easy. People in Congress have different opinions and different perspectives of, perspectives of things. And their perspective is from a very wealthy point of view. Do they really represent the average American? Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. The new first time people in Congress, compared to the people who have been in Congress for many years, they have definitely have different opinions. The younger people and the older people, their, their perception of things are very different. People who have been in Congress for many years, they kind of tend to just vote yes or no without really looking into details and deciding the positive and negative effects of their votes. Few people usually tend to analyze things and really take into consideration what they're voting for. They kind of just sit back and let things happen. And that's back to us not voting for new congressmen. We've got to blame ourselves to some extent. But we also trust them, and they say that they were going to make all these promises, but then it kind of backfires on us. Very true. It's very true. Can't. It's a no-win situation. Yep. <laughs> I would never run for president. I'd rather stay at home and be happy. <laughs> <laughs> and I think a lot of people feel that way. Let someone else deal with it. Sometimes it could be a risk to run for president, or just to leave it for someone else. We go through a lot of different experiences that changes our perspective and how we change things throughout our, throughout our life. You know, we go hang out with people, like, and that'll change our minds on things. <laughs> we have a few drinks, you know, maybe one too many. <laughs> And we'll start think, having a different perspective. Yeah. Hey. I also think the people of America keeps getting bigger and bigger, and it's becoming more complex with all these different perspectives and different ideas throughout the country. With everyone all over the country uh, living different lives, it's hard to. I'll have the same opinion. It's becoming pretty simple. Mm -hmm. New issues are coming up all the time and people aren't used to confronting those. Mm -hmm. In the olden days, people would go to church all the time. And now people have different <coughs> opinions about church and they decide they don't want to go anymore. And that's just an example of how things have changed. We also used to have farms, we people would eat healthy food, and now all of our food is processed. Yeah, so I'm going to get started on that. <laughs> 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 it's so disgusting to me how much of our food is processed mm -hmm. and how they handle our food. I recently mm. saw somewhere, I think they made it on the internet or something, apples are kept in storage or like getting moved to the grocery store for 16 months or 14 months before they get to the grocery store. Like what are they doing for 14 months? Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's not healthy. Also, you said we would buy food all the time. And now I read the labels and see all the, the chemicals and preservatives and dye that they throw in there. 
and it becomes. So it's important to read the nutrition labels and learn and realize what's. And then maybe change your eating habits slowly. And the problem is that it's boring to cook from scratch. It takes a while. I'd rather just have my food be ready and eat it. Me too. And then when you do cook from scratch, you're still using those basic ingredients. And those basic ingredients aren't treated the way they used to be treated, you know, 30 years ago. Yeah, right. I was surprised to see that fast food restaurants like McDonald's and Burger King, maybe about 20, 30 years ago, you know, they were smaller restaurants, or smaller burgers, and now they're getting bigger and bigger. They're encouraging us to eat more. People always thought that it was the same size burger, but they're still getting big. And that way they can make more profit.